In Insight, the state visit to the U.S. by Chinese President Xi Jinping was his first trip back to the West Coast since June 2013. And that's when Xi and President Barack Obama met at the Sunnyland Summit in Southern California. It was seen as cementing ties between the world's two largest economies, but the meeting also helped the economy of Rancho Mirage, where the talks were held. CCTV's Mike Walter recently traveled there to see how times have changed. In the heart of the steamy Southern California desert, you'll find Rancho Mirage. It's known for gambling, golf, and the good life. It's also where the Sunnyland Summit was held in 2013. It was here at this high-level retreat where the leaders of the U.S. and China met informally to discuss what President Xi Jinping described as a new type of major power relations. When it was over, U.S. President Barack Obama declared the visit terrific, and the director at Sunnyland's, Janice Lyle, wasn't surprised. One of the things that we um, think is most important about Sunnyland's is the fact that it it feels magical. It feels magical because there's such an amazing um, level of beauty, both in terms of architecture and art and nature. And somehow the way those things interact, everyone walks in, takes a deep breath, relaxes a bit, and then thoroughly um, engages. People who work here at Sunnyland say it's a special place, and while a bench like this was the scene of some diplomatic magic between the presidents of two of the most powerful countries in the world, the bench has also become a powerful draw. Wendy Wu saw it firsthand. She was hired as a Mandarin specialist and translator after the summit, and for good reason. Sunnyland's became a magnet for Chinese tourists. Wu seems to think the benchmark of success is a bench. Okay, so uh, most of them uh, were interested into this bench because this is the real one that the two presidents have been sitting on. And we do have a replica in the visitor center in the garden, which after seeing this picture, they can physically sit on that one. And also they are interested in this picture. They sometimes even take pictures of the picture so they can <laughs> have it. Today, it's almost difficult to picture sunny lands before the summit. The sign outside is in English and Chinese. There are Chinese language brochures. And the website is in English, Spanish, and Chinese too. Films about the history of Sunny Lands features Chinese subtitles. Lyle says she now has three bilingual guides to handle the volume of guests. We opened our doors and the Chinese came. And so uh, this last year, we um, had 45% of the group visits to this center and gardens were Chinese groups. So an amazing uh, number. They want to experience the atmosphere. They want to watch the movie and they want to probably just have a cup of tea here in this kind of environment to have the feeling which their president has had here. On its website, Sunnylands describes itself as a place to change the world. But it has also changed Rancho Mirage. City Hall relies on tourism dollars to fund 30% of its budget. And the mayor can't contain his delight at the prospect of cultivating the city's newfound friends. It's been an exciting sort of thing. We're hoping that we can uh, get more of them to spend more time here. Part of the problem is uh, tours come, spend a night, and they're on their way. So we're. Uh, hoping that we can entice more of our Asian friends to, you know, spend a few days here and unwind, enjoy, and see what good resort living is like. As Mayor Hobart is quick to point out, that will be great for the Chinese tourists and even greater for Rancho Mirage. So while the summit was defined by diplomacy, its aftermath may well be defined by dollars. Mike Walter, CCTV in Rancho Mirage, California.